What are you going for? That one. That one? Is there one there? Yeah. The room's coming out. Nice job. What are you going to catch with that blood room? Uh, cold or uh, stamps. what you're doing. Find the hole. Okay, so what are you looking for? Yeah, it's prawn. Is that prawn? Yeah. Okay, okay. Some of the holes don't go in and some of them goes in. Right. Oh, you're looking for the brain collar? For this grey stuff? Yeah. Where are you going? We are going to Seider Strand to catch a cop. Good plan. <laughs> and we are driving through the small town of Cape Agalas. I'm going to do it again. Right. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Yeah. English, tell me. Okay, so we went uh, this morning. We met a guy on the straight by plot that was foraging for some blood worm. And we actually went back there. We met up with him, and he was kind enough to give us some. And uh, we're gonna hopefully catch a nice cop. And how long is it to ride from America? Primal provided Long trip, 14 and a half hours to come do some fishing with my friends. So. Primal provided number? What's 108. Your name? 108. Primal provider 108. Catch Cook Nation. This is the official trip of Africa. We're driving past it now. We're going one or two kilometers past a town called the Seder Strait. Shipwreck where we barbecue, buy barbecue all the time. This is what it looks like daytime. Wow, nice, nice color on the water. Nice brown water. Can't betray the brown water. Yeah, it's got a cool little thing. That's more mm -hmm. Oh, they're on a boat. Mm -hmm.
Are you ready? Should we use it for live bait? For live bait. Ben Bokstang forgot the GoPro. That's how we do it in Africa. I say, Ben. Yeah. Oh, welcome home. Fantastic to be home. Okay, this camera's going in the back, the phone's going in the back. And we'll use the GoPro. It's going to be a bit rough and the wind's playing off. Sure. That's the picture. American's gonna show you how it's done. Okay. Well, only fake. Oh, how, how deep is it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's shallow. Huh? It's shallow. Yeah, you don't know. Hey, walk it in. There we go. Ah! <laughs> 
drag op, drag op. Good job, guys. Good job. It's cold today. If, if the water was warm, it would have been so good. It was so good, actually. But... Oh, hey, let's go, guys. One, two, three. Enough. Oh. I need some shoes. Bro. Okay, well, that's good. Let's go get the bike. Okay, let's go. Let's... No, it's homemade, bro. Okay. You can clean them out and then put them on ice and tomorrow we'll do the proper prep of these fish. So I'm just going to clean it. Yeah, I'll just so gut it, scale it tomorrow, just yeah. put it in the fridge for now. We'll put them on ice. Yeah. Hi everyone, so the boys went fishing this weekend, um, brought some fish back yesterday. Uh, we're going to make just a very easy, simple sheet pan meal. Um, just bake the fish in the oven with some veggies. Super simple, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Got some sweet potato rounds, which we're just going to cut into thin battens. And that's about enough. Send the carrots. You can take some tender stem broccoli and also just cut these horizontally just to make them a little bit smaller. Evenly distribute the veg like that. Then in a bowl you take about two tablespoons of olive oil, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, the same amount of cayenne pepper, Quarter teaspoon of cumin. Hi, Mays. Hi, Mommy. Do you know where you put my bag? You didn't bring a bag, sweetie. Come, come. Oh, I forgot my bag in there. Just whisk that all together with a fork. There we go. Take some olive oil, just drizzle some olive oil over the veg, season with some black pepper and some salt, some smoked chili flakes, which we'll put a little bit more in here. And also going to put in two teaspoons of garlic. And then also about two tablespoons of honey. And then just whisk that all together. Mm. And then I've got my fish prepared here. What I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna cut each piece in half. And then I'm just gonna make a little space in between the veg or the fish. Then you can take your chili lime juice olive oil mixture and just spoon it over your fish fillets and just distribute it evenly over the fillets and then I am going to reserve a little bit. Um, halfway through I'll just glaze it again with a little bit more of the sauce. I preheated the oven to 180 degrees and we're just going to pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I've just taken the fish out of the oven to check. It's about halfway done, about 10 minutes in. I'm going to take a little bit more of the sauce I made and just spoon it over the fillets. You see the honey makes the um, chili stick to the fillets nicely so that it doesn't all run into the veggies. So you've got separate tastes. There we go. Now I'm going to place it back in the oven for another 10-15 minutes and hopefully it'll be done. Just taking this out the oven. The veggies are nice and tender and the fish is um, flaking away nicely.
That's great. Really good. This is uh, two days ago. Fish we caught at Seder Strand and um, it's been in the fridge for two days, brought back with ice packs to Cape Town and it's been a long day at work and uh, just took the shirt off, put a t-shirt on and great dinner to come back to. You want some fish? Why doesn't that surprise me? You only eat some crumb there. That fish fingers. Are you sure you don't want some fish? But it's so good. Look at that, it's fantastic. What do you think, Noxie? Mm, it's nice. Is it nice? Good. Simone did a good job. Nice, spicy, nice. Fresh cup in here, come on. Okay, one day in the fridge, two days. But not frozen. Are you a critic? Mm -hmm. You like it? Van. Oh, wow. All right, thank you. Oh. Stay spy days, Noxie. Mm -hmm. <laughs>